It's always an adventure. You know what I mean? You never know. We got one more battle coming up tonight. It's our final battle for the belt. For the actual Las Vegas Battle Roast Heavyweight Belt. Are you guys ready for that? First gentleman coming to the stage tonight, he is the challenger. He's probably the only other person in this room who's dressed better than I am. I gotta give it up. Motherfuckers, make some noise for the one and only the Jingle. Yeah, I think it's on you. Okay. 
I just did a joke. Oh, man. <laughs> Feel free to do your first one at any time. <laughs> Perfect time looks like a Beetlejuice stunt double. In the upcoming film, Beetlejuice, this is broke right now. You know, uh, to make Django more comfortable, we were originally planning on doing this roast at the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs> If only he was on top of the World Trade Center, he could have stopped 9-11. <laughs> Building 7 still would have fallen. It turned into a 9-11 joke. 9-11 was a conspiracy, though. Jesus Christ, make some noise, you guys. <laughs> Ever. So congratulations, man. Like, 
Yeah, I see the Grenon and he says, I'm out of water. Dude, he's fucking, I mean, are you fucking kidding? I, I bet he can do it in under eight fucking minutes. Jesus Christ, dude. Fucking black. They have like an extra gene or something. I don't know. Dude, guys, give this up for TC Valley and all for running this fucking roast. He's definitely a great roast, but he's not wrong with everything he said. Like, dude, it is so hard to do what you just did. Like, as a dude who roasts with long fucking hair, to go up against a black dude that looks like this and not get crushed, no. that's fucking hard to do. That's so a fucking it is. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It's fucking hard to do to make people have to do that. And Bad props, bad that, props. That's a three. Oh, that's a three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our ring, our fucking champion, Parker Todd. Make some goddamn noise. The Django, Parker, get the fuck off the stage. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what to say about that purple fucking suit still. I'm like, like, Jesus Christ, bro. It's like the Kool-Aid man fucking live action or something. I don't even know. Dude. I fucking love it. Well, it's that time of the night. We're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. We're gonna do something different. Um, do me a favor. You guys take care of your wait staff. Take care of your checks. Take care of your bills. A couple of extra bucks out of your pocket into theirs um, doesn't mean much, but it means the world to them and to us. I, uh, they won't let me do this show here if you guys don't show up. So thank you guys for coming out. It's been your day with me. It's been my day, uh, my birthday. Because like I said, I love wise guys. I love doing this show. I love being able to put up other comics, do other things. Uh, just over two years ago, I lost my partner, my com comedy partner, my uh, battle roast partner, Cameron uh, Ramirez. Some of you've heard me talk about him before. Um, it literally, just two years ago, like literally within days, uh, we used to go to the comedy store, we used to do our thing, we'd run around our underwear together, think we were funny. Um, but uh, it's, it's moments like this where I, I really do, like I said, I, I love you guys, I appreciate this so much, I get to hang out with my friends and do comedy, and I get to hang out with the rest of my friends, and I get to come up and make you guys laugh too. So once again, I just want to say thank you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs>